Hi, my name is Charles, and um, I'm enrolled in the Bachelor's in Biology program at the University of West Florida. Um, the reason I, I signed up for this program is I'm curious by nature, and I, I've always been fascinated with biological systems. Um, eventually, I would really like to go into some sort of field in the, in the biotechnology industry, you know, working with genetic modification, that sort of thing. Um, maybe for a company like, like Monsanto, for instance, um, working on producing new certain crops, new crop strains. Some of the courses you might take in this major um, are things like genetics, uh, molecular biology, um, some biotechnology courses. Um, there's, there's a lot of great learning experiences. Um, you get to do a lot of fun stuff in, in the labs, especially you know, molecular biology. Um, you get to um, insert certain genes into bacteria, which is always, always pretty cool. Um, uh, right now I'm working in um, a plant biochemistry lab um, and you get to do a lot of cool stuff over there, you know, grow seeds, um, look at protein expression in those seeds, um, different defense mechanisms that, that these plants exhibit. So it's def definitely a lot of fun, um, especially if, if you're curious like me. My favorite part um, about this major is definitely working in the lab. Um, it's, it's just a lot of fun um, for me to see, um, to take you know, what you learn in a classroom setting and actually put it into practice, see real life applications of it, um, and, and see that it actually works, um, that it's not just something that your professors are putting up there on some slides or on the board. You know. um, the hardest thing about this major um, is, is probably the amount of time you're going to have to spend uh, on you know, learning new material. Um, it's, it's, it definitely takes a different way of thinking. You've got to visualize things um, that you know, are, are often on a cellular level, things that you do not see every day. So, so getting your, you know, wrapping your head around that idea is, is probably the hardest part, but at the same time, that, that challenge can be can be fun. Um, one thing I wish somebody had mentioned before I actually picked this major was that um, you definitely, if, if you want to go into some sort of research field like I do, um, you're definitely going to have to take, um, take it further than just the bachelor's level. Um, the, the bachelor's level gives you a real great foundation, um, but to, to actually go from, from being a, a knowledge sponge, I guess, just absorbing the information, just learning the information and actually becoming a teacher and actually putting that out there to utilize the information, you definitely need to, to take it a step further. Even just becoming a lab tech um, requires additional certifications on top of what you're going to do now. Um, things that you could do um, to prepare you and, and actually, you know, to get a feel for if, if this is even something you want to do, volunteer. Volunteer in, in labs. Go talk to your professors. Um, there's, there's always plenty of things that they can have you do even if it is just grunt work, just you know, being around, being in a lab setting will give you a feel for what um, everyday work can be like. And if you like it, great. If, if, if not, you know, you'll know fairly quickly um, that, it's, that it's not for you. So, uh, some really important advice that, that I, would, I would say I would give to you is um, develop effective studying habits early. Now with a lot of your general biology courses like zoology and botany, and, and this really applies to any general education courses as well, um, you're going to want to just memorize it, get that information out there to get a good grade. Don't do that. Make sure you learn the information because all of this stuff builds on top of it. And you know, if you do that early on, um, develop effective studying habits, later on it's, it, I guarantee you it will pay off. It will make everything actually makes sense and it will put you leaps and bounds ahead of the other students that just memorized it and did an information dump.